My name is Matt Anderson. I'm a senior captive manager here at Risk Management Advisors. Um, so there's there's a lot of uh, different captive structures out there, um, but there's a few main ones uh, that people seem to focus in on. Um, group captives is one, um, and uh, there's another one, single parent, and then uh, series captives um, or sponsored captives. So we'll kind of go through those. The first one, group captives, is where you have multiple owners of multiple companies um, that get together to form a captive uh, relationship with each other. They form one captive that ensures all of the different businesses that are involved. Usually homogeneous risks, um, so uh, contractors or construction or manufacturing will kind of different people in the same industry will get together and form a captive to ensure similar risks. Um, and that's owned by multiple owners uh, to ensure multiple companies. The main ones that are that are typically formed um, are single parent captives or the sponsored captives where we have the series captives. So the single parent is owned by an individual or a group of individuals that are managing or own uh, a family of companies. And so it's made to just ensure their own risks um, inside their companies. So, and those are formed, uh, they're, they're called a single parent captive or pure captive is typically the, uh, the name for them. Uh, the other one is a sponsored captive. Um, there's a little bit less uh, expense that goes along with those and uh, usually a little bit less upfront capitalization and things that, you, that you'd have to pay into it. Um, so those are the advantages to it. Um, the structure of it is it's usually owned by a management firm or like uh, RMA, for instance, uh, risk management advisors would own a uh, sponsored captive. And then people would own a uh, series captive underneath that. Uh, it's kind of like being a condo inside of a, uh, a condominium district. So you own your own property, but you're subject to the, the regulations and the management of the actual condominium uh, development company. So, um, so you still have the benefits. You have your own EIN. You're going to file your own tax return. Um, you're going to have your own uh, reserve studies done, and it operates a lot like a single parent captive. There's a few less operating expenses, but uh, the consolidated pieces of that, you're going to be subject to the management of the, uh, the parent, whoever that is, like the sponsorship, like, an R, like our company, Risk Management Advisors, we have one. Um, and you'd be subject to that. But other than that, it pretty much operates like a single parent and has a little bit less cost and upfront expenses involved. So there's other, there's other captive structures, but those are typically the ones that we would see the most is either group, single parent, or sponsored.